I can't believe my family didn't pick me up from school. Again! Oh my gosh! I can't believe it! This is the best day of my life! Whoa, guys! What's going on? Eddie, we get to be on Chet Flanderson's new game show! We're going to play City tonight, and we could win 50 million Robux! Oh, we're gonna win, Patrice! And we're gonna be rich! Oh my gosh, this is so awesome! Let me go pack my bag! Oh, I'm so excited to be on TV! This is gonna be sick! Our lives are gonna change forever! <laughs> Guys? Hey! Where'd you go? Hurry up, Rylan! You're slower than maple syrup! Oh, shut up! No! No, no, no! Guys, wait! Stop! Come back! No, wait! Please, no! Don't leave me behind! Stop! Watch your step, loser! <laughs> you look so stupid! No! No, where'd they go? Who, hey, your friends? You don't have any. Shut up, Slater! I know you're not talking to me like that! Ha! Huh? Ah! Slater, leave him alone, or I'll tell everybody you make cringy TikToks with a fake account. Nico, you can't say that. That's not true. Oh, yeah? What's this? Really embarrassing, dude. Whatever, jerk. You're cringe. Oh. Ah, thanks, man. Well, what are you doing running down the street? My family just left for Play City, and they left me behind. They're going to go win Robux on TV. Dude, have you tried calling them? No, I left my phone at home. Oh, well, come on. Let's go back and get your phone. Now, where is your phone? I think it's in my room. Where is it? Oh, here it is. All right, come on, Mom. Please pick up. Oh, no. Here it is, dude. I guess she left it behind, too. Oh, man, this sucks. What am I going to do now? Uh, what about your dad or Rylan? Well, my dad doesn't have a phone. He doesn't know how they work. And Rylan has me blocked ever since I beat him at Smash Brothers. Man, this does suck. What are you going to do? I've got to go after my family. They just went to Play City. It's not that far. Maybe I can meet them there. Cool, I'll go with you. You don't have to, man. Of course I do. We're friends, and I wouldn't let you do this alone. Okay, but we have to hurry. I need to catch the last train to Play City. Oh, how far away is the train station? I think it's only a couple more miles. I just hope I can get there in time. Hey, Crunch, check it out. If it isn't the Nerd Squad. Where are you off to, little Eddie, huh? I'm off to Play City. Now get out of my way, Slater. Oh, yeah? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pay the loser fee. Steal his wallet. Ha 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 Thanks for the money, nerd. Hey, get back here, jerks. No, Nico, let them go. Why? We're gonna miss the train if we go after them. We made it. And just in time. The train hasn't left yet. Uh, yeah. Hold it right there, bub. Where do you think you're going? Uh, is this a train to Play City? Who's asking? Oh, we are? We need to get on this train. Yeah, whatever. Not without a train ticket. And it's 20 bucks a pop. Please, sir. Can you let me on for free this time? Someone just stole my wallet and... No money, no ticket, no train. Oh, man, this isn't good. What are we going to do, Nico? You know what, dude? You're getting on that train. How? Hey, miserable man. Here's 20 bucks. Now give me a ticket. Rude. Fine, whatever. Just give me the money first. I love money. <laughs> Here's a stupid train ticket. Now get out of my face. Well, you're good to go. Dude, are you sure? Of course. I only have enough money for one, so I'll have to stay behind. You need to go find your family. You got this, dude. Good luck, and be safe. Oh, thanks, man. I'll pay you back. I, I promise. Ugh, finally, I made it. Hold on. I don't think this is right. Hey, you! Ugh, what? What do you even want? I'm on my break. You said this was a train to Play City. This place is in the complete opposite direction. Did I say that? Oh, yeah, I did. Eh, oh, well. You lied to me. So what? I do it all the time. And leave me alone. You're like obsessed with me. God. Now I'm stuck in this miserable place. And I need to get to the city, but I've got no more money. This is like the worst case scenario. I've got to figure out something. How am I going to get some money? Hey, uh, sorry, but I couldn't help but overhear you. Uh, are you okay? No, man. If I'm going to be honest with you, I'm stuck here. And I need to go and find my family in Play City. Oh, man, that sucks. But, uh, I bet I can help you. Wait, really? Yeah, of course. I'm a good guy. I like helping people. Follow me. 
Thanks a lot, man. You know, I thought for a second I was gonna get stuck in this place. Yeah, don't mention it. I'm actually happy to meet you because I need some help. Well, I don't mind helping you. What do you need? I need your help robbing this dump. Wait, what? Yeah, I'm gonna rob this place and you're gonna help me. No way, dude. I'm not a criminal and I'm not stealing. Then you're pathetic. Now scram. Yeah, I'm not gonna just let this happen. Hello? 911? Yeah, I need to report a robbery. Hey, y'all, I just got your phone calls. So where this criminal, y'all? He's in there. Please, officer, hurry. Okay, I got this. Don't worry, y'all. All right, put your hands up. This ain't no robbery no more. Officer Rufus, no! Okay, now you in Yale, y'all. You won't stay here for a while. Ugh, you loser! This is your fault! Don't blame this con ma'ams for your stupidity, y'all. We gonna leave you here, okay? Come on, Adams, let's go. This guy is wild. I wanna thank you, Adams, for finding that wanted criminal. His name is Clarums, and I hate him, y'all. It's not a problem. It was the right thing to do. Yes, it was. That ma'ams stole my burritos one day, and I've been looking for him like every single day, y'all, ever Sam's. Well, I'm glad you got him, Officer Rufus, and I'm really glad I could help. Yes, and I put a reward out for this, ma'ams, so you technically wombs. Here you go, y'all. It's like 500 Robux, y'all. Officer Rufus got stakes. Well, thanks. I can use this to get to the city. Um, what city you going to, y'all? I'm going to Play City. My family's there, and... I have to find them. Oh my goodness, okay. My best friend Shimes and Britnums, they live there, y'all. And I can drive you there in like a minimums. Wait, really? That would be awesome. Thank you so much. Yes, this gonna be farms. Okay, now let's go. Road trips, y'all. Yes. Y'all family just lifts you for them Robux, y'all? Yeah, and it really hurt my feelings. Well, I'm sure it was just an accident. I mean, they your family and they love you. Yeah. I guess that's true. You go and forgive them, and that's farms, okay? Now, here we go, y'all. This is Play City, the best city in Roblox. Well, thanks again, Officer Rufus. You know, you really saved the day. Yes, that's what I do, y'all. Now, this city has the best trip all around, and I need to go get some burritos, okay? Now, good luck finding your family, Adams. Wait, Officer Rufus, can you help me find the TV station? <sighs> Great. Now, I'm in Roblox's biggest city, and... Got no idea where to go. Maybe she'll help. Um, excuse me. I'm looking for the TV station. Do you know where it is? Ew. No. TV is lame. YouTube is better. Okay, but I need to. Yeah, no. I don't talk to the poor. Bye. Wow. That was nice. I guess I can just GPS the location. Oh my gosh, it's on the other side of the city? Ugh, great. Well, I guess I need to start walking if I'm gonna get there in time. I really hope I don't miss them. This is it. It's the TV station. Hell, oh, they better be here. Oh my gosh, there they are. Boys, we did it. This is so sick. Hey, guys. You did great, Rylan. You got the last question right. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> of course I did. I'm so smart. Hey, hello. It's me, Eddie, your son. There you are, Eddie. Guess what? We won the game show. We've got 50 million Robux now. Seriously? Are you guys so caught up with winning Robux to not notice that you left me behind? Well, we thought you just stayed home. Why didn't you call me? You left your phone at home. Oops. Well, whatever. We're just so happy we're rich now. We don't have to worry about anything. You completely left me behind and you guys don't even care. <laughs> you don't even care. Ah, shut up. You're just upset you didn't get to be on TV. Yeah, now stop acting like a baby. It's time to go. Ugh, fine. Just don't forget me this time. And then some sketchy guy tried to make me rob a gas station with him. Wow, it looks like you had quite an adventure. Not really, Mom. It sucked. Do you guys even feel bad that you left me behind? Of course we do. It was a mistake, Eddie. Just drop it. Uh, Mom, Dad, this place sucks. What do you mean? This house is for poor people, and we're not poor anymore. We need a new house. Don't be ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with our house. There's no pool, no home movie theater, and my room is just way too small. I want a new house. Yeah, I think Rylan is right. We're rich now, and we should get a new house. I think we should stay. I love this house. All of our memories are here, and... I think we should live in that gated community behind the golf course. What do you think, Patrice? Ooh, yes. We're going to have to go shopping for new furniture, too. 
Let's go now and buy me a PS5. Good idea. Eddie, why don't you stay here and start packing up our things? Wait, seriously? You're leaving me again? Ugh. Dude, your family really won all that money on Chet's game show? You must be so stoked. Yeah, sort of. Sort of? You're rich now. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy my family isn't having money troubles anymore, but it just sucks that we have to move. Now we're not going to be in the same neighborhood anymore. Yeah, it kind of does suck, but we're still going to be friends, right? Of course we are, man. That's never going to change. Hey, Rylan, huh, congrats on winning those Robux, man. Hello, boys. Whoa, Dad, what is this? Did you get a new car? I did, but it's not this one. This is for Rylan. Dad, Rylan doesn't even have his license yet. Well, he's going to need a car to practice with. Now enough talking. We're going to be late for the mall. Rylan, you can drive. Oh, man, this is going to be so awesome. Come on, Eddie, let's go. Wait, is there even room for me in there? Just take an Uber and meet us there. Wait, what? Stop complaining, son. You're rich now. Just get an Uber, okay? We'll see you at the mall. That Uber driver was crazy. Now, where is Dad and Rylan? Are you disrespecting my son? Uh, no, sir, but we don't sell golden hoodies and make matching golden shoes. Then this place is trash. Dad, let's go. Gladly. Goodbye, you minimum wage loser. Eddie, about time you got here. How do you like my new drip? Yeah, it's great. <sighs> Whatever. Dad, let's go to the Supreme store. I need more stuff. Of course, son, that's a good idea. Dad, don't you think this is all a little bit too much? What do you mean? I heard you yelling at that guy. You guys aren't acting like yourselves at all. This money is getting to your heads. Oh, shut up, Eddie. This is who we are now. Yeah, and stop being such a downer. Cheer up. Yeah, I'm going to the Supreme store. Now, come on, let's go buy you something expensive. Hi, honey. So, what do you think of the new house? Well, it's really nice. And honestly, this place is huge. Almost too big for us. Yes, it is. We're finally living the life we always deserved. Yeah, sure. Hey, where's Rylan? Maybe in the new home theater? Why? Well, it's family game night, remember? Oh, yeah, right. You forgot didn't you? Of course not, honey. Bye, mom. Bye, dad. Bye, loser. Hold up. Dude, where are you going? Um, I have a party to go to. It's family game night, dude. We need you here. Yeah? So what? This party is on a yacht, dude. You'd rather party on a yacht with people that you don't even know than spend time with your own family? Um, duh. Bye. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I've got to go, too. Wait, hold on. Why? Where are you going? I want to go buy some more model trains before the hobby store closes. Model trains? Are you serious? It's my passion, Eddie. My passion. I'm so sorry, but I can't play game night either, honey. No, mom, not you too. I'm sorry, but I'm going to the spa with my girlfriends. We'll do a family game night another time, okay? Bye, honey. Oh, man, this sucks. I don't want to be here all alone. Oh, Eddie, sweet new clothes, man. Yeah, thanks. What's up? Uh, it's nothing. Do you want to hang out or something? Oh, of course. Uh, come on in, dude. So, uh, how does it feel to be back in the old neighborhood? Everything is changing, dude, and I don't like it. But it's good changes, right? Like big house, fancy new clothes, nice cars. Who wouldn't want that stuff? That's not the problem. The problem is my family. I'm worried all this money has really changed them. I almost don't even recognize them anymore. Well, uh, maybe you can change that? How? How am I gonna change it? You can be the person who grounds them and brings them back together. At the end of the day, they're still your family, dude, and they love you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Just think about it. So, do you wanna go to the arcade or something? Play some video games? Yeah, I really need to get my mind off of things, and that sounds like fun. Let's do it. And that's it. This is perfect. Wow, I had no idea I could cook so good. What's that smell? Did you order takeout? Nah, dude. I made this all dinner. Check it out. You're joking, right? No. I mean, I was thinking. It's been so long since we had a family dinner together. I'm not eating this trash. I only eat stuff plated in gold. Well, I'm not making stuff plated in gold because that's stupid. 
You're stupid. What's all the yelling in here? I'm trying to paint my model trains. Rylan is just acting like a spoiled brat. What else is new? Oh, you're so mean to me, Eddie. I hate you. I want to get gold-plated sushi for dinner instead of this junk. Ugh. Ugh, Eddie, I hope you're happy. No, Dad, I'm not happy. I wanted to do something nice for us as a family. We don't spend any time together anymore since you won that money, and, and I hate it. Well, maybe you're right. We don't really spend a whole lot of time together, but you know what? You should be happy that we're rich. Everything's better now that we don't have bills. Just relax. There's nothing to worry about. No. I do have something to worry about. I worry that my family is falling apart. Man, I need to practice this new piece for my piano concert coming up. This is gonna be huge. <laughs> You're so funny, Rylan. Whoa, guys, did it just get really lame over here all of a sudden? Come on, and it smells like loser now too. Yeah, ha ha, very funny. Rylan, can I talk to you? Whatever, I'll be right back, guys. Give me a sec. So, what's so important? Is it about money? It better be about money. What? No! Dude, you need to stop hanging out with Slater and Crunch. Um, why? Because they're the biggest jerks in this whole school. Shut up, dude! I have friends now, and you're just jealous that you only have one friend. I'm just trying to watch out for you, dude. You're my little brother. I don't want to see you get hurt. Well, don't. I don't need you or your help. Now just go away. Be poor somewhere else. Mom, Dad, can we talk? I've got something to tell you guys. What is it, honey? Well, look, you better make it quick. I'm meeting my friends at the golf course in 10 minutes. What I'm trying to tell you is I've got a big event at school tomorrow night. What kind of event? I have a big solo piano performance at the school concert. I want you guys to be there. Oh, I don't know if that's gonna work for us. What do you mean? Your mother and I are going to a party at the country club Friday night. The mayor is going to be there, and I want him to be my new best friend. And we can't miss that. Of course. You know, it's not a big deal to you guys, because it's not about money. Hey, don't be rude. We're still your parents. No, this is important to me. It can help me launch my music career. But you two don't care at all. Oh, now that's not true. Yes, it is. I know Rylan doesn't care about me, but I thought you two would. I guess, I guess I was wrong. Oh. Don't be upset. I hate seeing you upset. Yeah, I'm sorry, son. Will you promise me you guys will come to the concert, please? Uh, okay, fine. We'll go. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, dude, you killed it, man. I am so proud of you. Thanks, man. I was really nervous, but I think I did pretty good. You did better than great, Eddie. Wow, thanks, Mr. Morales. My dad wanted to come to support you, dude, and he has something to tell you. You know I own a record studio, right? Yeah, of course I do. Well, I want you to work for my studio as a producer. You got great talent. I think the world needs to hear your music. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's incredible. Absolutely, I'd love to. Oh, huh, sweet. Come by the studio this weekend. I'll give you a tour. Come on, Nico. Let's go pick up dinner and bring it home to your mom and sister. You got it, Dad. See you later, Eddie. Yeah, uh, see ya. Oh, I can't wait to tell Mom and Dad about this. They're gonna freak out. Wait, hold on. Where are they? Did they not show up? I really thought they'd be here. Oh, man. Wow, that mayor is a real piece of work, isn't he, Patrice? Huh, <laughs> you're telling me. Well, there you are. Eddie? What are you doing up? It's past your bedtime. I was waiting up for you two. Where were you? At the country club, of course. Where else would we be? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the concert you promised me you would go to? Oh, wait, that was tonight? Oh, we totally forgot. Yeah, of course you forgot, because it has nothing to do with your money. Oh my gosh, just get over it, Eddie. There's gonna be plenty of other concerts. No, there won't be. That was the last one of my senior year, and you guys missed it to go spend time with your rich friends. You know what, that's enough. I'm not gonna be yelled at by my own son. Yeah, you know what, it is enough. Hey, where are you going? To pack my things. I'm moving out. You're moving out? <laughs> Sweet! Can I get his room, please? Ugh, you're the worst! Yeah, I really like how this sounds. What do you think? 
Oh, Eddie, this is so sick. What do you think, Dad? Well, I've got 10 artists that want this song, so I think it's gonna be a hit. Wow, thanks, Mr. Morales. No, I'm really proud of this track. And I'm proud of you boys. Great job. Dude, I can't believe this is actually our jobs now. I know, man. We're music producers, making tons of money. We're only 22. Well, for now, I'm gonna be 23 tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you are. And this party is going to be sick. Everyone in the music industry will be at our house celebrating you, dude. Yeah, it should be a whole lot of fun. W will your family be at your birthday party? Nope. I haven't talked to them in, like, five years now. That's sad. I I'm sorry. They still won't talk with you? No, they won't. And don't be sorry, man. Everything happens for a reason. And let's get this track finished. Oh, man, this party is so much fun. Everyone's here at my house. Well... Everyone except for the people I want the most. Oh my gosh, there he is! Hi, honey! Did we miss anything? Dad? Rylan? What are you guys doing here? Your friend Nico called me last night and invited us. Hope that's okay. Yeah, of course it is. I'm so happy to see you guys. What is this? Are all these for you? Uh, yeah, dude. It's my birthday, remember? Huh, <laughs> this isn't fair. You don't deserve all this stuff. Rylan, hoe it together! Oh, uh, whatever. This party is lame. I'm out of here. I'll wait in the car. Well, I'm glad to see he hasn't grown up at all. Yeah, don't bring it up. We just wanted to say we really miss you. Yeah, I've really missed you too. Maybe we can go get some coffee and catch up or something? Yeah, I'd like that a lot. I have so much to tell you guys. Isn't this nice? Yeah, it really is. What happened to Rylan? I thought he was coming. Rylan said he'd rather poke his eyes out with chopsticks than spend time with us. But he was just kidding, I think. Well, that's nice. I'm so happy to see you doing so well. Yes, you've done really great for yourself, son. Your mother and I are both very, very proud of you. That means a lot to hear you say that. You know, for a while, I didn't think you really cared about me. Of course we care. You're our son. So, how's everything going at home? Well, uh, if we're being honest... It's not going so well. What's wrong? We sold the house, our cars, all your mom's jewelry. We had to move into an apartment now. We're just struggling for money again. Well, do you guys need some help? Oh my gosh, we can keep the lights on now. Thank you. Yes, thank you, son. And, uh, you think you can help out your brother too? No, just reach out to him and be nice. I think losing all of our money hit him pretty hard. He could use his brother right about now. Yeah, I'll try. That's all we can ask for. Thank you. It really sucks knowing my mom and dad are going through hard times again. I never wanted to see them like that. What the heck? Oh my gosh, someone broke into my house. Well, I got some good news and some bad news, y'all. Okay, Officer Rufus. What's the bad news? You've been robbed, y'all. I mean, all your money is gone. Your safe is emptums and anything valuables is just gone. Did you find any clues or anything that can tell you who did this? Um, yeah, yes. I found fingerprints, y'all. And I'm gonna find out who did it and I'll let you know. Thanks, Officer Rufus. You're the best. I know that's wrong. Ugh, where the heck is he? This place gives me the creeps. Shut up, loser. He said he'd be here. So, where is it? This is all we could get. This is it? Yeah, we got as much as we could. We had to get out of there. We came home before we could get any more. Oh, you two suck at being criminals. Not all his money was there. I know it. Yeah, come on, Rylan. We tried our best. I want you to get me that money. All of it. Eddie doesn't deserve it. I do. So, like, what do you want us to do? You're gonna find out where Eddie keeps the extra money or get it from him one way or another. What the heck, dude? You won again? Yeah, sorry, man. Look, don't get upset. This is supposed to be fun. Ah, forget this place. Let's get out of here. This sucks. Oh, why couldn't we do something that's actually fun? I thought this was gonna be fun. Plus, this was your idea. You wanted to hang out. We used to hang out here when we were kids all the time. Well, I'm not a dumb kid anymore. And you're still a huge loser. You suck. Nah, dude, you're the one that sucks. And you need to grow up. 
I'm so sorry. Rylan's been acting like a clown again, son. Yeah, it's okay, Dad. I should have known he'd still be the same person. I mean, I tried to be nice and hang out with him, but it just seems like he's miserable. I know, and it breaks my heart. He's been miserable ever since we had to sell his PS5. And that was the first thing we had to sell. We're gonna have to sell our clothes next, and your mom's gonna be heartbroken. She loves her clothes. No, you don't have to do that. Don't worry. I'll send you guys some more money. Here. I just sent mom another thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, son. Dad, I need money to go get some sushi. Money now. What the heck is this loser doing in our house? Okay, that is enough. Eddie is your brother, Rylan, and you need to start being nicer to him. If I'm nice to him, will he give me money like he does for you and mom? What? Why do you think mom and dad are so nice to you? They only want your cash, idiot. I should have known better. You guys are terrible. All I wanted was my family back, and all you wanted was my money. Of course. Now give us some more money in my hand now. No, I'm not giving you any more money, and I don't want to see you guys ever again. Whoa, man. This is sick. Probably your best sound yet. Yeah, man, thanks. You know, I always feel like my music helps me when I'm going through something. Are you still upset about the robbery? No, I've got insurance for all that stuff. It's my family that's really upset me. Oh, yeah, that's so messed up, dude. They only wanted to get back in touch with you because they needed money? I just have to accept the fact that my family has officially fallen apart. I don't belong with them anymore. Hey, uh, at the end of the day, they still are your family. Not anymore. I barely know them. They've completely changed after they won that money. Now, I'm on my own. Why don't you come to dinner with my family tonight? Get your mind off of things. Yeah, you know, I'd really love that. Next up on Channel 5, the Chet Flanderson Family Game Show. Let's see who's going to win 500 million Robux. Yeah, no thanks. <sighs> I wonder who that could be. What do you guys want? Can we come in, please? Yeah, sure. So what is it? Do you want money? I told Dad I'm not helping you anymore. No, we came here to apologize. I made a mistake, Eddie, and you got the whole wrong idea. Yes, we just want you back in our lives. We knew you would help us because you're a good person. But now we're going to be better with our money and we don't need yours anymore. We just want you, son, and we're really sorry. You know what? I actually believe you. I can tell you're being honest and I'm really happy you said those things. But what about Rylan? Rylan is just out of control ever since we lost our money. He said he was going to go get some, but we're worried he's doing something really bad. Adams, Adams! Oh my goodness, I'm so glad you're here, y'all. I got something to say and it's very important. I arrested two criminals today. They names be Slatums and Crunchums, y'all. And they the ones that broke in your house. Oh my gosh, that's awesome, Officer Rufus. I figures it would be them. Um, yes. And also, I got some more information. They read it out there, ringleadums, and they said his name is Rylums. Oh, of course it was him. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna go stop Rylan. Where did he go? Hey, loser! Get out of my store, pal! Shut up, you weird little creep. Give me all your money. Mm, let me think about it. Huh? No way. I don't hear money entering the palm of my hand. I don't have time for this. You're a loser. Money now. Oh, that's it, man. Oh, I'm so pumped right now. Epic roundhouse kill. Ah! Oh, my leg. Ah! That was pathetic. Rylan, put the money down now. It's over. Officer Rufus, please help me. Don't worry, little ma'ams. You're safe now. Rylan, I said stop this. No, I don't want to be poor again. Yeah, I don't think so, fools. You under arrest now. Oh, what? No, Eddie, please help me. Officer Rufus, take him away. Okay, that's fine. You're going to jail now, y'all. Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, stop right there. He just stole my family's money. Someone help. I got to find somewhere to hide. Where did he go? I'm not gonna let him get away that easy. Ah, there he is. All right, now I just gotta make the swap. Perfect. Man, all these Robux are- Hey, I see you. Oh no, uh, I'm out of here. Get back here. Oh, he dropped something. Is this Robux? Did you just rob us for Robux? Just stop running already. There he is. Uh, he led me all the way back home, but why? 
James? My own brother stole our money for Robux? I have no idea what you're talking about. Just leave me alone, Joel. You're not getting away that easy, James. What'd you do with our money, huh? Just go away. I didn't do anything wrong. Oh, I gotta get rid of this real quick. Let's see, make sure I can reach the bushes. Oh, perfect. I'm gonna tell mom and dad about this. Oh my gosh, Joel. You're such a liar. I don't wanna argue with you, okay? Just leave me alone. You can't blame me for something I didn't do. Something you didn't do? I saw you. And I saw you too getting on my last nerves. You guys need to stop all this fighting. What's gotten you all so worked up anyways? Dad, James stole our money and used it to buy Robux. He did what? Now that you mention it, some of my money is missing. So is some of your mom's. Oh my gosh, you guys are all awful. Saying I'd steal from my own family? Well, James, all right, calm down. I know what I saw. It was 100% him. And you're 100% terrible. <laughs> gosh, he's so annoying. Where's that money? Oh, there they are. <laughs> Perfect. Yo, dude, you look so sweet right now. I just have to say. Yeah, man, so do you. What is James wearing? All that stuff is super expensive. Hey, Joel, check it out. You like my fit, man? Yeah, must be nice to be able to afford all that stuff with all those stolen Robux you were using. Stolen Robux? Oh my gosh, whatever, Joel. You can't prove anything. I just can't believe you, James. You realize that family is way more important than just having stuff, right? It's just funny to see you so jealous of all of this. I'm not jealous at all. I'm mad because you stole everything that I had. Wow, he's so poor. <laughs> you know that you and I didn't have anything cool growing up. And now I have stuff and you're just jealous that you don't. I'm with James. You're just a broke, poor loser. And you're jealous that we're rich. And there's nothing that you can do about it. <sighs> James, because of you, I have to work a bunch more hours at work now. I'm really sorry. I wish I cared. You're a terrible brother. Oh, man. What a busy day. Yeah, man. I hate working the late shift. And what was up with you all night, huh? It's like your mind was somewhere else. You weren't focusing on the burgers. Yeah, Cliff, I'm sorry. It's just my brother. It's been horrible lately. Your brother? Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, he stole all of my money. It just means I have to work harder now. He stole from you? What kind of brother would do that? That's exactly what I'm saying. Well, look, I'm gonna get going. I'm exhausted. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, yeah, see you tomorrow. Dad, you just don't understand. I understand that you're asking me for money. Where do you think it's gonna come from? The money tree out back that we don't have come on dad i just want some robux that's all oh all of this about robux again how could you possibly be asking dad for more robux when you stole from him you're all just selfish you never give me anything i want well i just got back from work do you know what time it is i was working late all because you stole from me i didn't steal all right you know what joel's right it's late and i've had enough of this we all need to cool off and just go to bed What's going on? Joel, Joel, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. We gotta go figure out what's going on, though. Oh, no. The safe. No, 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 no. No, all the money. It's gone. What? All of our money? Yes. <laughs> That's all we had. I was changing to a new bank, and I took all the money out in cash. How dumb am I? You know what? This is James. I know it is. James? Joel, is everything okay down there? I'm scared. No, everything's not okay. I know this was you. You stole all this. No, it wasn't me i was asleep i wouldn't do this really this wasn't you this time no of course not someone broke in the house yeah and they took everything oh, i'll go outside i'll see if i can find any traces of him <laughs> and i got away with it this time i'm gonna buy so many robux with this I don't know, Joel. I mean, don't you think it's all a little suspicious? Yeah, I mean, it kind of does sound suspicious, but I don't think my brother could be that stupid. Look, I'm sorry, man, but I think it sounds exactly like your brother. I don't know. He just seemed like he was so scared. Yeah, probably because he was scared of getting caught. After everything you've been telling me about him, I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, okay? Especially not after what he did to you. He just sounds like a liar. Luckily, my mom had some money saved. We're going to go to the bank to deposit it today. Imagine losing your entire life savings. That's got to be one of the worst feelings in the world. Yeah, it's even worse for my dad. He's going to have to get a second job to make all that money back. And you got to be careful, man, because that might be you, too. I would keep an eye out on your brother. Uh, yeah, hi, idiots. Hello. I've been sitting here waiting for two minutes. I'm hungry. Oh, sorry, sir. We'll get you your food in just a second. Mom, what are we doing? Why do we have to stop? Well, I need to get gas, and this is a gas station, silly. Well, can I go in and use the bathroom? I really gotta go. <sighs> yes, just go be quick. We have to get to the bank before it closes. All right, I'll be right back. After I take some money out of your purse. <laughs> 
perfect. I'll just go and hide it over here. I'll come back for it later. All right, Mom, I'm back. Hey, Mom, your purse. Were you watching it? <gasps> no. All that money is gone. No way. No, 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 no. This is the worst. Well, maybe there's some security cameras and we can catch this guy. Um, hello? Ex excuse me? What do you want, lady? I just had someone steal money from my car. Do you have security cameras? Well, we got some cameras, but they haven't been working in years. Sorry. You're out of luck. No, no, no. This isn't good at all. James, we're in serious trouble. Dad, is everything okay? No, Joel. Everything's not okay. All of our money's gone. What do you mean, all of our money's gone? I thought Mom had some. And yeah, I just got off the phone with her. She's a wreck. Someone robbed her car while she was getting gas. Was James there? Well, yeah, of course he was. <sighs> that explains it. You know what? I'm gonna help the family. You don't need to worry about it, okay? I'm your father. I'll take care of it. I'll just get another job over my second job and find some way to work three jobs at once. Well, hey, I know you need a new job, so maybe we can work together. Work together? Yeah, maybe both of us working at this new job, we can earn the money back. I'm so sorry you have to deal with this, Joel. I don't know how our lives have come to this. All right, I just gotta get that money. Yo, Stan. Yo, James, you got the money, bro? Yeah, of course I do. It's a couple grand, too. Oh, man, that's awesome. I know, and I totally got away with it. Just imagine how many Robux we can get. We? What do you mean, we? Don't you mean me? What? Stan, what are you- Ow! Hey! Stan! <laughs> how about you enjoy being broke like the rest of your family? <laughs> Stan, wait, no, you can't do that! Oh, no. Stan just stole from me? After everything I did for him? I guess he's not a real friend after all. <laughs> What's going on now? Oh man, look at this. You're so cool. You're wicked expensive. What's going on? How'd you get all this new stuff? Uh, I bought it with Robux. Duh. It's like you don't know anything. The Robux that you used all of our money on? Uh, you're on to this again? Where did these Robux come from? Were they dad's? Maybe mine? Oh no, probably mom's, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't like you accusing me of stuff. You go to that gas station all the time, don't you? I'm sure you already knew the cameras weren't working. Joel, you're a total jerk. You're just trying to find an excuse to blame me for everything. It's not my fault the money was stolen. You're literally the one that took it. You spent it all on the Stupid stuff. Should give it back to mom and dad so they could sell and get their money back. Yeah, no way. I don't think so. You know what? I'm sick of this conversation too. Get out of my room. Oh, hey. Get lost, loser. I'm gonna need to get that stolen money back from James. I bet Cliff will know what to do. So, Cliff, any ideas how we can stop James? What I would do? I'd set a trap for him. A trap? What do you mean? Look, just hear me out, okay? If you literally catch James red-handed in the act, it'll prove to your parents that he's been messing with them the whole time. He was the thief and the one that stole all their money. That's not a bad idea at all, but okay, let's see what I can do. And I'm coming with you, so don't worry. I got you back. So this is where you live, huh? Well, if James keep this up, we're not gonna have this place for much longer. Is that him right there? Yeah, quick, we gotta put the camera in. All right, we gotta put it somewhere in his room, somewhere where he's not gonna see it. Right here, perfect. And now you just gotta put down the bait. Well, here's all the money I made from work last week. It'll work, dude, trust me. Now come on, let's go watch the camera. All right, <sighs> time to do my weekly inspection of Joel's room and see if I can find anything. Oh my gosh, you've gotta be kidding. Look, look, he's gonna take it. <laughs> just leaving your money out like that? Joel, you're asking to get robbed. You're so stupid. Now I can buy some more Robux. Well, I think that's all the evidence I need. Yeah, you definitely caught him red-handed, for sure. Alright, there's all the stuff. It's time I take all this and sell it back. I need to get mom and dad's money back, or else we're gonna be in trouble. Hey, can I just please return all this stuff? Do you have a receipt, man? Well, about that. My brother's been stealing stuff from my family to buy all this, so I don't have the receipt. Actually, now that you mention it, I remember selling this stuff a few days ago. Yeah, more importantly though, I remember the guy who bought it. He was so mean and like really bratty. God. I'm sorry about that. My brother's kind of the worst. What a selfish jerk, man. Your brother sucks. Yeah, he does. Well, I feel bad for you, so I'll give you everything back. A full price, too. Really? Thank you so much. Well, it's the least I could do, man. Where is it? Where is it? Where's my stuff? 
James, what's wrong? You know what's wrong. You stole everything of mine. You mean the stuff that was actually ours because you used our money to buy them? So what did you do with it? Funny that you say that. I went back to the store and returned everything. I got all of our money back. Dad, here you go. Yep, this looks like it's a lot of money. So James, you have been the one stealing from us, haven't you? I don't want to hear it anymore. You're going to be grounded for five months. Man, what a great day at the arcade. Yeah, Casey, I love coming to the arcade with you. This is so fun. Uh, K Casey, oh man, Casey. Thomas, what's going on, man? Oh man, I was just like minding my own business and uh, someone robbed me. Someone robbed Took you? Took all my money and all my stuff and uh, Casey, I need your phone. I need to call the police to get it all of back. Of course, man, here's my phone. Oh, okay, all right, uh, okay. Thanks, Casey. Man, I'm, I'm glad to help him, that was weird yeah i don't know about that your brother came in there looking real worried well, what's this my bank just notified me i'm all out of money that's weird you know thomas was the last one to have your phone just now yeah you're right but i mean he wouldn't do that well let's go on there find out okay hey rob look there he is oh yeah i'm completely iced out man scamming casey for robux was a piece of cake i should have done this years ago i can't believe that Thomas is actually the one that scammed me? Hey, Thomas, you lied to me, man. You took all my Robux. That was my whole paycheck. That was everything in my account. Uh, big deal. You'll get that money back eventually. Plus, you're the one who fell for my bit. Oh, I was wrong. You're way too gullible, man. Besides, now I have some nice jewelry thanks to Thomas, you. Thomas, scamming people is wrong, and there are consequences for your oh, actions. Wh what's that? I can't hear you under my Gucci earrings. Dad, can I use the family car? Now, Thomas, what do you need the family car for? Well, Dad, I noticed the car was looking kind of lumpy, and I thought I could get you some new tires. Well, that's really sweet of you, son. Okay, yeah. Thanks, Dad. You know, this it does not sound right. First, Casey scams me, and now he wants to go help Dad. I'm going to follow him and find out what he's up to. Okay, that's 10, 20. Okay, thank you for your business. Oh man, look at all this Robux. I gotta get home to oh. Did you just sell off dad's car? Well, maybe I did sell dad's car. Yes, I did. Look at all this money. Besides, he can always buy a new one. Oh, I cannot believe this. The car got stolen? I got something I need to tell you. The car wasn't stolen. Thomas sold it off for some what? money. No, 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 Dad. That's not at all what happened. You don't understand. I was driving, and some guy latched himself into the front seat and then pulled me out and stole the car. I promise. Dad, Thomas is lying. I watched him sell the car for Robux. Hey, Casey. Hey, Thomas would never do something like that. Sell the family car? Are you insane? No. Surely it was stolen. You need to be more considerate of your brother's Dad, safety. I am trying to be more considerate of the family, and Thomas is out here scamming everyone. Okay, finish that up, now to work. Is that Thomas? Oh man, Marcus, can you just please leave me alone? No way, you need to hear this and you gotta remember, you're a poor nobody, you're wasting your time here. Hey Marcus, come on man, just because you're rich doesn't mean you can mess with people, I dude. can do whatever I want because I'm rich, Thomas. But yeah, one day I'm gonna be way richer than you, Marcus. You'll huh. see, we'll see about that, loser. Hey. Thomas, sorry, man. I saw that. Is the reason you've been scamming people because of Marcus? Casey, that's none of your business. Leave me alone. You're going about it the wrong way, man. Scamming isn't the way to prove Marcus wrong. Hey, at the end of the day, I will have more money in Marcus, which makes me better than him. So I don't really care. You don't know what you're talking about, Casey. Leave me alone. Yeah, Rob, it looks like Marcus is the one that's been bullying Thomas this whole time. And now, because of that, Thomas is going around scamming people because he thinks that if he's rich somehow, Marcus will stop bullying him. Maybe you should be keeping your distance from there, Thomas and Marcus. Yeah, I know, but he's my brother and I need to do something to take care of him. Uh, hey, Casey, uh, I was wondering if I can use one of the computers here. Thomas, I'm sorry, but you can't. No, man, please. I just want to try out a computer that I want to buy. I swear. I see. Are you rejecting the customer? You better let that young boy use the computer. Yeah, Casey, come on. You don't want to get in trouble with your Okay, manager. okay. You can use it. Oh, man, thank you. Okay, yeah, all right. Uh, all right, good. Thank you, Casey. This computer isn't my type. I think I'm going to have to look somewhere else. See you later, Casey. What is he up to? I just don't 
get it. It's doing all this weird. Hey, see? I just got a call from downtown the bank. They call said that all the money's gone. You know anything about this? There you are. Hey, Thomas, get over here. What are you doing in the mall anyways? I'm here spoiling myself, Casey, because I deserve it. I'm taking all that money. You stole this. Oh, please. Steal is such a radical term. And anyway, I'm using it to buy something cool. You guys use your money to buy worthless things. Worthless things? You mean like dad paying the mortgage on our home so we have a place to live? When I use the money. I use it to make myself better. It doesn't actually make you any better than anyone else, especially Marcus. Shut up, Casey. You don't know what you're talking about. How about instead of taking money from people, you start using money to help people instead that will actually make you better than marcus hmm. help people huh all right now this is how you make yourself a better person okay you got it who's he talking with oh man gee thanks for the advice oh uh, here you go ah thank you for your patronage oh and thank you for your help uh see ya excuse me sir Why'd you give your money to Thomas? Oh, that guy? Well, he gave me advice on how to be a better person. Thanks to Thomas, I will never have to worry about rich people talking down to me ever again. The neighbor just said that you told him how to be a better person, and now rich people won't talk down to him anymore? Oh, yeah. Well, I was just trying to help somebody out who's in the same position as me. So I did. You know, Thomas... I'm proud of you. You're going around town, helping people out. You're a real good kid. And this calls for a dinner celebration. Thomas, I know you're up to no good. Yeah, that's right, Marcus. I'm filthy rich, man. Absolutely filthy rich. I got stacks of cash now. You can't talk down to me anymore. Oh, really? How much money do you have? Well, Marcus, I have $10,000 now. <laughs> ten thousand dollars that's jump change man you're gonna have to be a millionaire if you want to breathe the same air as me see you later hey marcus back off you're just a jerk who bullies people because you think you're better you have more money and whatever you're, you're just the loser brother of a loser see you later tommy boy hey thomas don't give that guy any of your attention hey dad do you know where thomas went I'm not sure, Casey. He left earlier with the deed to the house. He said he was going to make some improvements and needed the deed for the contractors. He needed the deed for the contractors? Uh, wh who's there? The hello? Yeah, wh who are you and what do you need? Well, I'm the new owner of the home, of course. I mean, what are you doing here? It's supposed to be empty. I think you got the wrong place. This is our house. No, certainly I do not have the wrong place. I bought it earlier today. This is the correct address. Now, both of you, get lost. Excuse me? Th this can't well, be it true. it is true. And because I bought the house and it still has all this stuff inside, it's all of mine now. Thomas? What's going on? What's going on, Dad? <laughs> what's going on is I'm a millionaire now. That's what's going on. Thomas, we wouldn't be here if you weren't being such an idiot selling away our home and all of our belongings. Dad, Dad, chill out, okay? It's no big deal. I'm a millionaire now, remember? I can just buy a new house. Thomas, that's not the point. We had a house and you sold it. Not to mention, even though you're rich now, both Dad and I are broke because you scammed us. Okay, okay. So what if you're broke? You don't need money. I'm a millionaire now, remember? I can just buy you new stuff. I hate to say this, but you're a money-loving snake. I don't want you around anymore until you've learned from your own mistakes. Oh, dad. Oh man, I can't believe my dad kicked me out. And Casey looked pretty mad too. Ah, forget it, they'll be fine. I don't think a million dollars is enough to be better than Marcus. I'm gonna need a lot more cash. Well, I need to be a billionaire or a trillionaire or a gazillionaire. If I can't scam dad and Casey anymore, I should scam everybody. Not sure what we can do. Dad, don't worry. I'm gonna start working a lot more and help you out. I just can't believe that Thomas would do that to us. I know, I don't know what's gotten into him. I just hope this punishment will help him become a better person. Uh, he hello? Uh, okay. Casey, it seems like Thomas has a business now. Hey Thomas, what's going on? Well, if you must know, I run a bank now. I'm gonna make people's lives better and help them be responsible with their money. Wow, Thomas, I, I didn't think you'd learn that quickly. I'm proud of you. You're finally going down the right path. Thomas, I hope you're being genuine and that you're actually trying to run a decent business.
because at this level there are major consequences if you're not well you know that's crazy casey that sounds like advice coming from a person who doesn't own a successful business leave me alone and enjoy being broke All right, so you're going to need about $10,000 to start off with your account. Are you serious? That's a lot of money. That's kind of ridiculous. Hey, listen, you're a good businessman. I assume you're not broke. You'll be able to make more money and it'll be safe in my hands. Okay, I guess something that expensive has to come with some perks. Thank you, Mr. Snurflehop. <laughs> Another sucker. Well, 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 look at you. Owning a big bank now, Thomas? That's right, Marcus. I own the best bank in town. Jealous? Oh, not at all, Thomas. Actually, this is pretty cool. I need a place to put my billions of robots. Oh, well, small world, you're going to need about a billion dollars to start an account That's here. That's illegal. You can't do that. I'm calling the police. No bank has fees like that. I'm going to make sure you're locked up for good. Uh, hello? What? No, no, that can't be. Uh, oh, okay. Casey, Thomas is in jail. We need to go now. Thomas, I just, I can't believe it. I thought that you had finally learned your lesson, but instead you started scamming other people. You know what, Dad? I understand. Maybe I did get a little too carried away with the scamming, and I was just tired of being called a broke nobody, a poor loser. I wanted to prove people wrong. I wanted to prove Marcus wrong. We forgive you, but now you need to face the consequences of the mistakes that you made. And here's the Robux as promised. And here are the keys to the house. Pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> Aaron, you sold our house for Robux? I can't believe you. And this can't be legal. It is now, so get off my property. No, there's no way. This is my house. Not anymore. I bought it fair and square. You gave him Robux. Yeah, which means it's mine. Well, I'm not going anywhere. Neither am I. This is our home. If you two don't leave, I'm calling the cops. You know what? Call the cops. Fine, I'd love to talk. Talk to them. Aaron, you are so selfish. I am not gonna let you sell our home. You are not getting away with this one. Sir, please, there has to be something you can do. I'm sorry, my hands are tied. So you're telling me my son sold our home for Robux and there's nothing we can do about it? Well, there's nothing I'm gonna do about it. Police were no help either. Me and my sons are gonna be homeless now? That sounds like your problem and not mine. Get out of my bank. This is unbelievable. What are we gonna do? Don't worry, I'll figure something out. Wait, what is your brother doing? If you want it, it's all yours. Just give me some Robux for it. Yeah, dude, here you go. Awesome, and here are the keys. Enjoy the car. Thanks, man. Woohoo! Aaron, what did you just do? I just got some sweet Robux. That's what I did. You sold our car for more Robux? Ah! I'm confused. What did I do wrong? Aaron, you just ruined our lives! Well, it doesn't look like the TV works in this place. Nathan, I'm so sorry, but it's better than the streets. At least we can rent this trailer with the money we got from selling the rest of our stuff. So we really have nothing now. Well, we have to do what we have to do. Got enough money, I think we can survive for a couple of weeks, maybe? Dad, are you okay? I'm just trying to figure things out. You're really upset. I know you are. Well, of course I am, but don't worry, okay? No, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and see if I can scrounge up some food. I'll be back later. Ah, <sighs> poor dad. He's just trying his best. Now this jerk ruins it. Hey, Nathan, check it out. What do you think? I think I want you to go make up for what you did. Make up for what I did? What are you even talking about? I went shopping and got some sweet new clothes. You should go return it and get the money back for dad. No way. Everything's going to be fine. Dad said so himself. It will not be fine. Ugh, you're so oblivious. That house was a home that we grew up in and you sold it. You're just jealous because I look way cooler than you and I've got more friends now. I can't believe you. Well, well, your resume is minimal, but we could use the help. Congratulations, you've got the job. Really? That's awesome. Thank you so much. You'll start out as the host and the bus boy, and you can start as early as tomorrow morning if you'd like. Of course, I'll be here tomorrow. Well, great. See you then, Nathan. At least I have a job now. Now I can start helping Dad. Yeah, and I just bought these, too. They were super expensive, but I think I look really cool in them, don't you think? Yeah, dude, you look like... 
fresh. Yeah, I know. It's pretty awesome. I've got like so many Robux. Here, here I have my leftovers. Is this it? This is this all you got? Yeah, we can't buy anything with this. Well, I thought I'd give the rest of the Robux to my friends. I thought you'd like them. We should just get out of here or something. Leave this loser in the dust. Wait, no, no, wait, please. I I'll get you more Robux. Yeah, we need like at least a couple thousand more. You gonna get that for us? Yeah, I, I will, I promise. Good, now come on, let's go shopping. You can't be serious, is that your new uniform? <laughs> Look at you stupid bus boy. Go get my extra side of ranch, you loser. At least I'm making some money, Aaron, and helping out the family. You should do the same too. Yeah, nah, I'm too busy for that. Whatever. <laughs> Work for money? He's such a loser. Why would I do that when I could just take it? I know he's hiding some money in here somewhere. Ah, uh, under his pillow. Of course. Such a loser, Aaron. Oh, and dad's wallet? Perfect. And then I could spend it on some sweet Robux. I knew I forgot something. My apron. Wait, Aaron? Is that my money? What? What money? I don't see any money. The money in your hand. Hand it over. Finders keepers, loser. All right, here's my cash. Now give me all the Robux you have. Just take it a go, you weirdo. <laughs> awesome. Later, loser. Well, so you got it or what? Here you go, guys. Here are the Robux I promised you. See, I told you I'd come through for you guys. Well, I want all of the Robux. Hand over the ones you have, too. Uh, fine. Here. You can have them if you want. <laughs> All right. We're gonna get so many new items now. I think I want a cape and maybe a new hat. Why don't we all go to the mall and just do more shopping? What did he say? I think he's talking to us. You can't go to the mall with us. Well, why not? Because we don't hang out with poor people. Well, I'm not poor. Yeah, you are. We know that your family's living in a trailer. Yeah, because you sold your dad's house for Robux. <laughs> and I saw your dad taking the bus to work the other day. He doesn't even have a car. We're not gonna waste our time hanging out with you. See you around. Not. Yeah, get some money, you poor loser. Uh, what are all these boxes for? Hey, what's going on? Well, we're moving, Aaron. We're moving? Oh, sweet. Is that your brother? Aaron, I've been meaning to talk to you. Nathan told me how you stole all of our money. It's not a big deal. You guys can just go and make more. That is not how the real world works, Aaron. Yeah, you stole from me and dad. How could you do something like that? I need to go get more Robux for me and my friends. All of this over Robux again? Dad, just calm down, okay? I'll go start packing, and then we'll talk about it later. Your brother and I are packing because at least we can afford to rent a small two-bedroom home, but you are not coming with us. What? You, you can't be serious. You're, you're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. Till you learn to act right, you're on your own. Ethan, you're not just gonna do this, are you? There's nothing I can do now, Aaron. Good luck. Here's your food. I hope you guys enjoy it. Nathan, I must say you're doing an incredible job. These past couple of weeks have been incredible. Well, thank you so much. I've just been doing the best that I can do. Well, your best has got you promoted. You're no longer a food runner or a host, okay? You're now gonna be a full-time server. Wait, really? That's right. Now you can start making tips, interacting with the guests. People seem to love talking to you, so I figured it was the perfect fit. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful opportunity. Now make sure you study the menu so you get everything good. Good, okay? Well, of course you're working. Uh, Aaron, what do you want? Are you here to eat? No, I'm here to talk to you. You left me all alone. I'm so hungry. Can I have some money? You have to be kidding. No, I'm not kidding. The landlord of the trailer is gonna kick me out if I don't pay rent. Well, I'm not gonna give you any money. You haven't earned it. Seriously? Come on! Probably just spend it on Robux or something. I'm your little brother. You're supposed to be watching out for me and taking care of me. You need to deal with the consequences of your own actions, Aaron. So I got some Robux for some cool items. Big deal. I'm so sick of you being jealous of me because I'm cooler than you. You know what? You're causing a scene at my work. You need to leave. Fine. Ugh. You're a jerk anyways. You know, after watching all the chefs cook, I think I got the hang of this. Oh, man. What a day. Hey, Dad. How was work today? Uh, it was insanely busy. I'm so exhausted. But look at you. Thanks for making dinner. Well, of course, Dad. You look really upset. What's wrong? I've been thinking about your brother. I just feel terrible about abandoning him. Well, Dad, you did the right thing. Aaron showed up at my job and asked for money the other day. He's asking for money? Maybe he's in trouble. Maybe I should go and, and give him some money. That's not the point. Aaron needs to learn his lesson. He can't just ask for money all the time. He's gotta work for it. Yeah, you're right, but I just can't stop thinking about it. He is my son and your brother. I want you to go and bring him home, okay? Okay. 
Okay, Dad, I'll do this for your sake, not for Aaron's. You know, it's nice to have us all together again. Yeah, Dad, it really is. I was so sick of living in that trailer anyways. I'm so glad to be here now. Well, we're glad to have you, Aaron. Dad, I meant to ask you something. Of course. Ask me anything. My earbuds have been starting to hurt the inside of my ear. Can you go get me new Apple headphones instead? They're only like $600. Dad, it'll make me really happy. Oh, if it's gonna make you happy, okay, fine. May go run to the store real quick and I'll be right back. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. <laughs> the best at falling for it. Aaron, what are you up to? Just mind your own business, Nathan. No, he's up to something. Where is it? He always hides it somewhere in here. I knew it. You're looking to take dad's money, aren't you? Wow, using your head for once, Nathan. Really good. Of course I'm looking for money. I cannot believe you. You haven't changed one bit, I see. Yeah, but dad doesn't need to know that. And it doesn't look like you have changed either. You're more annoying than ever. This is my house too. So get out of here. What? That's right. You heard me. Leave before dad comes back. If he saw you like this, it would break his heart. Well, you know what? Fine. I don't need either of you anyway. Please, can anybody spare some money? Maybe like a $50 bill. I'll take a 20. Why are people just ignoring me? This isn't working. No one seems to be paying attention to me. Look, there's Trevin and Monty. They'll help me out. Hey, guys. Uh-oh, it's him. Just ignore him. Hey, guys, right here. It's your friend Aaron. Come on. What do you want? Look, guys, I need your help. You need our help? Oh, great. Look. I'm really struggling right now, okay? My dad and my brother kicked me out of the house. <laughs> wow, so not only are you poor, but now you're homeless. I was the one that gave you guys all those Robux. Their friends are supposed to help each other. We've never been friends. I don't even know this guy. This guy's not gonna leave us alone until we give him some money. I'm gonna give him a punch in the face. No, just leave me alone. <laughs> I'll get him. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun smelling like the river, loser! Alright, so that'd be two steaks, a side of mashed potatoes, and a side of green beans. Your order will be ready right away! Um, Nathan, I need to talk with you. Oh yeah, sure, what's up? Um, you need to go out back. The chef was taking out the trash, and, um, there's something you should see. Something I should see? All right, I'll go check it out. Oh, come on. There's gotta be something here. Aaron? Is that you? What do you want? What happened? Why are you digging through the trash? I can live living on the street for weeks now. I sold all my clothes, and I ran out of money. I beg for food, and no one ever pays attention to me. Aaron, I'm so sorry. I know I made mistakes, okay? I've been thinking about it a lot, and I miss you and Dad. You were right. I was selfish. Do you really mean it? Of course I mean it. Well, I have an idea. I'm more than willing to hear it. How would you like a job at my work? Then you can make your own money that way. Really? I thought you gave up on me. We never gave up on you. We just wanted you to learn your lesson. You can't just steal money all the time. Well, I know that now. Come on inside. You can talk to my manager. Maybe we can get you some real food, too. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Aaron's doing great. I'm so proud of him. All right, guys, here's your food. Uh, enjoy. I think I'm done with all the work for the night. You did amazing. This is yours. Your first paycheck. Are you serious? Oh, my first paycheck. This is so cool. What are you going to do with that paycheck? I know exactly what I'm going to do. Here you go, Dad. This is for you. What is this? It's my first paycheck. I promised you I'd pay you back for everything I took. This is the first part. I'm really sorry. Kevin! Peter! Outside! Right now! My car is being repossessed! Who spent all of our family's money? Dad, it's not a big deal, alright? It was me. I needed some Robux. Wait, Kevin, you spent all of our family's money on Robux? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? Nothing. Look at me, I look cool now. Well, I'm glad you look cool, Kevin. Because of you now, we can't afford to live. We're gonna be homeless! Kevin, you really just left us on the streets like that? What are you doing? Why did you do this to us? Oh my gosh, Peter, now you're starting to sound like Dad. I'm just being responsible. Responsible. Why did you just spend all of our money like that? I was getting picked on, okay? I just wanted to look as cool as the other kids. I was playing an obby, and they were picking on me because my avatar didn't look cool. So I just went home and took Dad's credit card. I didn't think about it. I didn't mean to spend all the money. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you did. Now pull your act together because we need to make sure that Dad's okay. Well, I tried my best, but I couldn't get the car back. I had to pay a fine. And I don't even have money to do that, thanks to Kevin. Don't worry, Dad. I think Kevin still has some money in his account. Yeah, I have a little bit. Not a whole lot left. Well, at least it's something.
thing. Peter, maybe you can take him and go buy some food at the store. That way we can at least have one last meal tonight. Because after this, I don't know what we're gonna do. It was 250? Uh, okay, here you go. I'll take that, thank you very much. I forgot to get one last thing. Kevin, where do you think you're going? Get back here, man. That is 150 Robux. All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Perfect. Now my outfit's complete. I look sick. Are you happy now? That was probably the remaining of the money that we had left and you just spent it on some stupid item. Oh my gosh, it's not stupid. Look how cool I look. You look ridiculous, man. I hope it was worth not us having a meal for tomorrow. Dad's waiting for us. Let's go. Kevin, listen, man. I know you're happy that you have all these cool things, but it's time to grow up a little bit. Your family needs you right now. I don't care what happens. I look so cool now. Watch this. I'll show it to you. Yo, dude, what's up? You think I look cool or what? Yeah, man. Sick trip, dude. Yeah, and what about you? Dude, it's so much better than that other guy that's like right here. I don't care what these guys' opinions are. Are you boys done gallivanting around town all day? Wait. What is this? What is on your neck, Kevin? My sick new chain, Dad. Unbelievable! Well, you better say goodbye to it. What? What? I just got off the phone with the bank. I'm able to get a refund if we return everything you bought right now. So that's what we're going to do. No, I don't want to return this. Just do the right thing. That's right. I raise you better than this. Now the three of us are going to march ourselves down to the Avatar store and return everything. Wait, what? No, no, the store was just open a second ago. Yeah, well, now I'm rich. <laughs> I'm out of here. Who was that? Uh, that was the manager of the avatar store. What? No! No, no! Get back here! Please! Get back here! No! No! Oh! Everything is gone! That was our last chance! Dad, Dad, it's okay. We can figure this out. I hope you're happy, Kevin! I don't know what the big deal is, Dad. It's just money. You can, like, go get it anywhere. We can make more. The world doesn't just work like that, Kevin! Do you even care that I was being bullied and picked on because of what I was wearing? Do you even care how that made me feel? Listen, I'm sorry you got bullied and everything, but you should have said something. Instead, you just did the wrong thing. Sorry, boys. I, uh, I don't have time for this. I've got to head off to work. Maybe ask my boss for a raise or bonus or something. I'll talk to you boys later. My gosh, dad is being so dramatic. It's really not that big of a deal. I just, I can't with you right now, Kevin. I can't with you. I'm gonna go find my friends and hang out with them. Oh, there's Trent right there. Man, he's so cool. I can't wait to show him my new items. Maybe he'll be impressed. Maybe he'll be my friend and want to hang out with me. Yo, Trent, what's up, dude? Uh, who are you? Uh, oh my gosh, Kevin? Uh, yeah, of course. Dude, you look sick, man. What happened to you? You are like a complete loser the last time I saw you. Well, Trent, honestly, you really opened in my eyes. I just wasn't at my full potential, you know? Yeah, seriously. I didn't even consider wasting a second of my time hanging out with you like a week ago. <laughs> yeah. Say, I have this extra Dominus, and honestly, I don't even really want it. It's not like a big deal. Do you want it? Dude, a Dominus? You're just gonna give it away to me? You know how much these things are worth? What? Just a couple Robux. No big deal. Dude, your family must be, like, rich or something. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. Dude, honestly, because of this, you can come and hang out with my clan anytime, anywhere. Kevin, there you are. Look, we gotta go now. Uh, Peter, can't you see I'm busy? I'm hanging out with my friend. Dude, that doesn't matter right now. Dad needs us. Oh my god, do you actually know this piece of trash? Sadly, yes. This is my brother. Peter, stop embarrassing me in front of my friends. Well, it's these types of people that got you in trouble in the first place. So I don't care. Come on, Kevin. No, I'm not listening to you. You're just as boring and stupid like Dad. Always talking about money and worrying all the time. Just make more money. Do you know how ridiculous that is right there? Just make more money? Yeah, if I could, I would, man. I'm out of here, man. One of us has to help dad. Hey, uh, dad, how, how did the work meeting go today? Not well. I got fired today, Peter. You got fired? No, no, this can't be happening. Well, sadly, it happened. I went in to ask my boss for a raise, and he's not the nicest guy. Fired me right on the spot. I'm sorry, dad. I promise we're gonna get this figured out. But right now, it looks like you need a rest. You don't look so well. well thanks, Peter. I'm not feeling so well, to be honest. I don't know. Maybe it's all the stress or something. I, I... Dad, dad, no! Uh, how's he doing, Doc? Is he all right? I have to be honest with you, Peter. Your dad barely made it in. His life signs are super faint. Okay, but he's gonna be all right, right? I mean, he has to be okay. Well, he's in the hospital now, so he's safe. He'll get better. Now, there is one thing I need to ask you. Are you gonna pay for the bill in cash or card? Because there is a discount if you pay cash. Oh, right, sir. Uh, I forgot about the bill. Um, it's gonna be about $500 a night. A night? I can't afford that. I don't have any money right now. Wait, you're broke? And you brought your dad to the most expensive hospital in all of Roblox? Wow. Please, sir. This is my dad we're talking about here. I can't lose him. I'll do whatever I need to. Just, just, just give me time. All right, all right. Just calm down. I guess I could give you a week to pay it off. Although after that, if you're not able to pay, your dad will not be able to stay in the hospital. Okay. Okay, that's fine. I, I can get it in a week. I promise. 
Oh no, this guy's here again. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing here? Nah, I'm just taking inventory. Gotta figure out what we're gonna take. Please, man, look, you don't have to take anything, all right? These are our items and our personal belongings. You don't have the right just to take them away from us. Listen, if your old man can't pay his bills, then he gets his stuff taken away. That's the rules. I don't make them, I just follow them. And now that he's in the hospital, everything is basically good as gone. <laughs> just because my dad is in the hospital doesn't mean that I can't pay the bills, too. Just give me more time. I promise. I just need an extension. Nah, can't do that. Just doing my job, you know. I don't have that authority. Just gonna lock this up. Nah. That way you can't go in there and try to hide any of your things. You're gonna have to deal with it. Did you just lock the front door? Huh. Looks like the only thing working in this family is your eyes. <laughs> hey, Peter. Man, I had so much fun today hanging out with my new friends. You look bad. What's wrong? I'm glad that you're having a great time, Kevin. Because of the things that you did, we're going through all of this. And we just lost our house, man. Uh, what do you mean we lost our house? It's right there. Now's not the time for smart remarks. We are homeless. And it's because we don't have money as a family anymore. I hope it was worth making new friends. Well, uh... I don't want to be homeless. Peter, I'm sorry. Dude, it's too late for apologies. You need to realize your actions have consequences. This is our money that you stole from all of us. And all of this just show me that you're literally the most selfish person in the entire world. Hope it was worth your new dominus. You said I was sorry, Peter. I didn't mean it. Wait, wait, Kevin, Kevin, get back here. Kevin! Oh, man. Kevin! Kevin! Oh my god, oh my stomach. I haven't eaten in so long now. We can't afford anything. I smell food coming from over there. Must be nice. I, I can't help myself. There has to be something in here. Come on, come on. Anything. Anything at all. Okay. A uh, burger. Oh, thank god. Mm, this is gross. At least it's something. I can't get a job like this on an empty stomach. Who's gonna hire me if I look like this at the same time? I can't believe she didn't even say thanks for the extra ranch I brought her. Whoa, hey, what are you doing back here? Listen, sir, I'm homeless. My dad's in the hospital and just a lot's happened that I can't really get into right now. I've just been looking for a job. I'm trying to apply anywhere I can. Is this place hiring at all? Uh, yeah, actually, we had some guy walk out today. Do you know how to wash dishes? Uh, yeah, yeah, I know how to do that. It's easy, as long as it's a job. Yeah, it might seem easy, but it's not glamorous. But at least it's minimum wage, and we get a free meal every shift. A free meal? Okay, okay, yes. Yes, please. Is there anywhere that I can apply, or... No, you have the job. It's dishwashing, dude. With this, I can help my family out in no time. Please, I just need, like, a little bit of change, maybe? I'm not giving you any money. You look rich. Get out of here. I'm not rich. It's just a drip. Ugh. Please, I need some help. Nah, dude, sorry. You look like some kind of scammer or something. Get out of my business. Ugh, this isn't working. What am I supposed to do now? Is that Peter? Does he have a new job or something? Well, he figured out a way to fix this. Why can't I? I can't go face my family after this. It's gonna be so mad at me. They already hate me enough as it is. I gotta find a way to make this right and get money back. But I need help. I can't do this on my own. Oh my gosh, perfect. There's Trent. Trent? Yo, dude, Trent, what's up? Can I talk for a sec? Oh, uh, dude, you look kind of sad. I, I don't do sadness. Are, are you fine? Look, I spent all my family's money on Robux for my items, and we need some food. Is there any way you can, like, donate some Robux to me? <laughs> Wait a second, you thought that me and you were actually friends? Get real, man! What? But we were, like, hanging out. Trent, where are you going? Excuse me, sir. Listen, uh, I worked all week, double shifts, but I only have $300. Only $300? You know the bill is up to about five grand now, don't you? I know, I've been really trying. There's only so much I could do with the dishwashing position. Washing dishes? Ugh. Oh, well, all right. But unfortunately, your dad can't stay here anymore. He's already ready to go. Oh my gosh, dad, how are you feeling? I feel awful. Where is your brother? I don't know. He's off doing something. He just ran off. It's done wasting my time with him. It's obvious that he doesn't care. I don't know what's gotten into your brother. I have to say, I am proud of you, Peter. You're handling this really well. Now that I've been in the hospital a few days, I've got to go find a new job. <clears throat> <clears throat> Man, I do not feel good at all. You can't go find a new job in the condition that you're in right now. Look, you can sit in the restaurant that I work at, all right? It'll keep you warm at least. I need to go back to work. All right, plus we better go before they start charging us just to breathe in here. By the way, thanks for the help. It means a lot, son. There he is. Trent, dude, we need to talk. What did I tell you, man? I'm not here wasting my time. Ugh. Listen, it'll be worth your time, okay? I want to trade my items with you. Wait, seriously? Why would you just give up all your cool things, man? That's like the only reason I'm talking to you right now. Because these things got my family in trouble. I'm doing the right thing. Listen, you can pick on me all you want, okay? About how lame my clothes are and how stupid my hair is or whatever you want to say. It doesn't matter. Plus, I'm not really allowed to hang out with you anymore. I don't care about any of your stupid motivational speech 
bitch, man. Just give me your items. I'll trade you. Yeah, of course. Figures you wouldn't care. Before I give you these items, I just want to tell you one thing, Trent. You just seem to be such a mean and rude person. I don't know why, and I don't really care anymore. I've got people that love me and care about me. And it's not such a bad thing to let those people in your life. Maybe you should learn that, too. Dude, I'm Trent. Everyone knows who I am. Everyone cares about me. Do they, though? Because from what I'm seeing right now, it doesn't seem like anybody cares. I'm done with this talk. How much do you want for all your things? Because I want everything. You know, I'm really thankful you actually got a job at a restaurant, Peter. Now we can have a nice warm meal for once. Of course, Dad. I just want you to be okay. Hey, Peter. Hi, Dad. Wait, Kevin, where did all your things go? Did you lose those too? Not really. Kind of. I, um... I gave Trent back all my items. But I have a ton of Robux back now. And we can get our house back. 